fucking back. I had to listen to people complain about some dumbass retail worker. You there? Yep. Awesome. Classic retail. Yeah. Also, I just got my uh, rusted right sword. Ah, oh, nice, dude. You know, like, as we're Finally. finishing up high rank. <laughs> yep. As we're finishing up high rank, and as you already have a weapon stronger than it. Well, I don't have a great sword stronger than it. True. My strongest is still the uh, Rathian one. Yeah, it's amazing how stupid people can be with such a stupid, um, like, easy job. Oh. Easy as in execution oh, nice. easy. How oh, nice that they put us here. Yeah, literally spawned yeah, us at the monster. Easy job at all. Yeah, it's difficult to deal with the people, but the actual execution of the job is easy. No customer service job is ever easy. Yeah, I wouldn't say, like, dealing with people is easy, but the typical things that you think of for being, like, a cashier... Like, okay, I scan item and check you out. Like, all that is, like, going to be incredibly easy to do, and people still, like, can't even do that properly. Holy drift, what the fuck? <laughs> yep. He likes doing some drift sometimes. I think he drifted super hard because he was going for you, and I happened to roll towards you. Can't fucking see anything. Traps going down. Nice. One pressure, you fucking bastard. Hey, well, he's not enraged. I was gonna fireball? Okay, no. I was gonna be kind of upset if he fireballed over there. This is why I wanted traps. Yeah, I know. That's gonna hurt. Shame I wasn't able to put a trap down for that. I love how that just works now. Yeah. Ow. Out of a sudden. Yeah. Sorry, I broke his head though. I rolled into you. Don't mind me, I'll, um... Okay, there we go. Just don't run! Fuck! Oof. That hurt. Oh, ooh, man. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we were both, like, practically dead, so I figured... Oh, 
don't have a lot of stamina anymore. Wind resistance so nice. Yeah, I bet. Go swing. This fucking trap down. There we go. Holy damage, yeah, he fucking hurts. And yeah, bounce city. The classic. I have fond memories of hitting gold and silver exactly like this for hours at an end. Bouncing forever. And by fond memories, I mean it sucked ass. Also, high zero. How's your morning? I know the cook. Alright, give me your uh, trap tools and nets when you're done. Mm hmm. Nice. Yeah, I have pitfall, so I wanted the trap tools and nets. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was giving you... Now uh, you have already pitfall. Yeah. That's why I couldn't take that. You went from 100 to 15% in one rush? Yeah, we had, um... Last night, just before we got off... We had a dude in here who was still wearing like a low rank Rathian or Raflo stuff, and one hit would actually just straight up kill him. Well, I fucked up on that. I don't know why I did that. Nice. Got a normal well done. I'm actually gonna try and save that so I can make. Ooh. I don't have any room. I lied, I'm not gonna try and save that well done steak. Nice. Oh, yeah, I'll keep this and I'll make a uh, mega dash juice. Yeah, I'm just getting these out of my inventory so I have the space. And for future hunts. Yeah, I want a stack of them. Mm hmm. He is in 10 currently, so that's a good area. I don't really think I want to fight Azure in 9, he's moving to 9. Or the Ness, one of the two. Please don't be 9. Please don't stay in 9, rather. And I'm hoping he just flies over it. Perfect. Thank God he's just nice. coming here. Ah, oh, I don't remember exactly where he lands. Oh, he's landing here. No! <laughs> like, last frame, what the fuck? Unfortunate. Oh, knock him up. And time waste. Is it time waste or is he actually leaving? Or leaving, I think he's leaving. Yeah. God! Yay! Damn it. What an ass. Put in my guild card. Everyone loves Area 9. <laughs> All my homies. The yeah, comment about all my homies hate, uh, hate Absaros really made my day when I saw that. It's like, damn, dude, true. He's coming. I guess I can check. I can't see what he's doing. I'm just gonna guard. It's just fireballs. Oh. 
Isn't that nice? What? Guarding. Yeah, it's great. Especially with guard too, it's crazy. Crazy value, honestly. Ah! Ah, what do you mean? Oh wow. Hammer in this area is so bad. If I'm moving forward, the hammer occupies the entire camera. Oh, sick. I'm trying to regen my health before using this potion. <laughs> Min-maxing healing. What a sick way to heal. Missed. Thank God he missed, because that would have hurt. Please come down. You threw me away. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't see. <laughs> I just jumped over his wing. Feels pretty good. No. <laughs> what goes around comes around, I guess. You get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> he said his tail. Oh my god. I'm gonna get out of this hallway. Okay, sure game. Yeah, he was stuck. That's probably why. Maybe. And we don't know where he's going. He's probably going to four. He's gonna go to four. We're gonna get to four, and he's gonna leave the moment we get there. And he's gonna go back to nine. Yep. yep. I'm going to ten just in case. Okay, he's in the. He's Crazy, in the you won't believe this, but he's in area four. Yeah, but you never know. I know. I always know. Cool, I bounced off his tail after he did a quarter of my health, after he did half my health by barely tapping me with it. And uh, my weapon decreased sharpness. He's enraged. Well, he stopped it anyway. Oh, never mind. It's fine. He'll probably just avoid that the entire time anyway. Yeah. Or he'll run into it immediately with my fucking health on the line. Yeah, I was trying to hit his tail. Um, get fucked? Question mark? That's almost bad for me, though. Immediately enraged again. Ultra instinct blocked. Yeah, sometimes you just feel that shit coming. It's like, oh. I have death in my future if I don't do something. I'm gonna do a dumb thing and stand in this hallway. see the hitboxes in your mind's eye. Okay, 
you never know if that attack is actually going to go through or not. That's probably the jankiest attack that Raflos has. How did you not get hit by that? Excuse me? Yeah, that works as well. <laughs> no. Or I'm gonna sacrifice all my health real quick to maybe cut the tail off. Or bounce off his fucking wing instead. It's also cool. Dude, like, he's just keeping his fucking tail out of range and hitting me with it. That's fucked up hitbox. Oh, what like that fucked up attack. Yeah, it's the one inch tackle. It's crazy, ain't it? Yep. <laughs> The one inch pipe. <laughs> uh, zero. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I would love to make his set zero, but can you guess why we. It's basically impossible to make his set? Until G rank? To make the high rank set? You have to wait until G rank? It's crazy. Zero's unaware. Uh, to make the Wrath sets. In high rank, every single piece requires one plate each for all four refs. And the only way to get those plates are from tail carves. And it's a 1% chance per tail. Hell yeah. It is. So, uh, I would love to make the subspecies or even the normal sets like you know I typically do that's not happening a plate each yep to make one single set you would need five azure rathalos plates not rathalos plates azure they're separate in the yeah i got set closer to mike to emphasize you need different plates oh fuck i'm not paying attention but i didn't get hit anyways never punished that's right in monster hunter one the subspecies have completely separate materials they have their own wings they have their own plates they have their own spikes they have their own gems Good fucking luck. <laughs> like, we've already killed maybe, like, what, seven of both normal and, um, not normal, of both green and red, but, you know, we haven't gotten a single plate from them, even though we've cut the tail every single time. Oh, dude, look at that. I got an Azure Rathalos tail. Literal fucking garbage. I, it's exactly like that meme of the kid looking at the ticket and it's like, Wow, this is worthless. Okay. Think? Is this a shell? I think it's a shell. <laughs> Load up the game, shark. I mean, I technically could, but <laughs> I'm not going to. Like, as... <laughs> As much as I would love to have their stuff, I don't think I'm wanting to have it bad enough to cheat for it. And it's not even good. The worst part is, like, yeah. Azure's Raflo set in particular is worse than his low rank Azure, um, Azure set. It's fucking crazy. This is a good place for a trap, right? Alternative. 
Again, I love how that just works now. Pain. And endless suffering. Ow. That looked pretty painful. How did that hit me right there? It goes away just from them moving their feet. Uh huh. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, I can't be getting hit by that. I say as it's happened twice already. Uh oh. Oh, I'm on fucking orange sharpness. I have to go sharpen. <laughs> go. Yeah, have fun with them. What was that? The eating animation takes. Oh long. yeah. And because you laughed, he had no one else. Oh, he's dying. Oh, is he? He's gonna start flying away before we get the chance to. Oh, oh. he just teleported to me. Sick. Nice. I kept him here. Let's go. Pile on all the damage we can while he's leaving. It's the less we have to deal with in his nest. Yeah, like, the best part about the sets needing a plate for every single piece, it means that we don't even have the armor sets unlocked to look at. Oh, you still have a trap? Yeah, I just made the last one. The worst part about the whole thing is it really does seem like it's only from tail cuts. Because, like, I feel like with the amount that we've killed so far, if we were going to get any from quest rewards, we would have by now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not pressing up. Fuck it. Alright, so let me go to bed. Give it like 30 seconds starting from now. This has definitely been the most cooperative of Jor, though. Probably because of, you know, six traps, but that's besides the point. Yeah, after this hunt, I'll pull up the wiki on stream. And I'll show... <laughs> yeah, I'll show the material requirements for the sets, and I'll show um the stats. Because it really is just worse than his low rank set, which is insane. Also zero. Uh, the best weapons are low rank weapons. <laughs> At the stage. Okay, him waking up flinched me again. Just like pink. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm good. Well, that's not even true, because we can get better high rank weapons right now. It would just take a really long time to farm for them. Uh, not me. I don't think... No. For me, at least. Um... Like, what you're using right there probably isn't considered a low rank weapon anymore if you've upgraded it more than once, or once at all. Like, what did that uh, need to I upgrade? Used, I think I only use uh, low rank mats. Hmm. I mean, it's a, it's a low shed. Low rank, uh... The, ne the next upgrade needs, uh... Flores 6. Oh, yeah, that'll be high rank low. 
Low rank weapons are better than high rank. I will explain that after this hunt because it is a fuck. <laughs> it is fucking wild. Yeah, like for example, if you go into the uh, G uh, great swords, the G tree. Uh oh. Like m most of them are like weaker. Fucking bounced into instant death fireball. That feels really bad. The other trees. It's wild. So, Zero, I know that you've never played Monster Hunter 1 or G. G is a very obvious, like, never played thing. Um, have you ever played Freedom? I don't mean Freedom 2 or Freedom Unite. I mean Freedom. Like, Monster Hunter Freedom 1. Oh, he's trying to leave again? Or is he? Yeah, he's just walking. Nope, okay. So, in Freedom 1, which is basically, like, Kind of a definitive version of Monster Hunter 1, but not. It's one with a Master Rank. It's and a few more weapons and stuff. It's basically Monster Hunter G, but with modern, more modern controls. And um, the online quests are changed quite a bit. But uh, it's more or less this game. Yeah. But it has one very standout feature that makes it different. Like, extremely different. I'm not talking about, like, the farm, because it's a portable game. It adds the farm. Yeah, like, it has the wandering merchant and stuff like that. Uh, the standout feature is the fact that it has actual proper weapon trees. I had Freeman Knight on PSP. <laughs> quickly rage-dropped it when I was a young, smooth brain. Fair enough. So, uh, this game, the weapon trees are completely disconnected. If you go from low rank, you cannot take that weapon into high rank. That weapon will not upgrade into a high rank weapon. The only exception are the couple of uh, low rank Lao Shen weapons that you can make from the uh, beginning. If you beat Lao in uh, low rank. He's basically a high rank monster. He's the gate to high rank. Any other weapons though, they do not become high rank. And they do not transition into G rank. But the thing is, yeah, it really sucks because I need to sharpen. Ah, oh, perfect. Yeah, it's fine. You'll just kill him anyways. Of course, I got a cut crew. Parts. Free system integration seems to be a modern edition. No. It exists in this game, but it's broken. It's like disconnected all over the place. By Dose, I believe, and Freedom 1, they fix that. I gotta cut you stuff from the ground. Same. Did I get anything? One scale. That's cool. Did it let me carve him fully? Like. Apparently. I think that this is webbing. What the fuck? What? Oh, flame sacks. I was I was only seeing one thing that I carved from him, and I was really fucking confused because I thought it only let me carve him once. But I had two flame sacks. I think I forgot to carve the tail. Oh, rip. There goes your plate. That was it. Yep, there goes my plate. Even though I need the more than a, a single one. You have five of them. It's fucking mystery bone out of my inventory. Got an azure claw, that's good. Here are the flame sacks. I want the warven marrow too. Um what stones can go? So the much more wild part about the weapon trees for this game is oftentimes if you upgrade a weapon, it becomes worse.
Yeah, if you're moving into a branch. If you change to a branch on the weapon tree at all, like say I have the Iron Greatsword, and say I want to turn it into like... you going to pull the wiki? I'm going to, but I was going to do that for the weapons. So it's like, I have the Iron Greatsword. I'm going to change it to like the Buster Sword tree or whatever. You will lose a shit ton of raw damage probably. There's a very good chance you're going to lose that raw damage. And then, like, your sharpness basically becomes unplayable. So if you can't upgrade it, like, two times, probably, it isn't worth upgrading it until you can upgrade it two extra times. Because it's just going to become basically unusable. Yeah, here, let me uh, pull up the wiki. Enjoy the nice silence. So filters. Let's see. Soul. Blade Master. Mail. Show everything. Start with the low rank armor. So as you can see here off on the side. The low rank Azure Raflos armor. Has earplugs. Almost earplugs too, and doubles your sharpening speed. Although your pickaxe isn't sure going to break much faster. That's that's doable. Um, but you see, it takes twenty one azure wings, which are very rare in low rank, unless you're doing the village troublesome pair, in which case you're going to get wings ninety percent of the time. Typically, only one, yeah, you're gonna get maybe a lot two. Of azure materials. But, you know, like, he, he's got some nice skills. You know, it's it's pretty expensive. Like, you can't get Monster Broth unless you use Alchemy for it. So, you know, that's that's kind of a pain. But let's pull up High Rank as yours set. Now you just have Stun Negate and Attack Small and Negative Defense. Being stunned in this game is incredibly rare. So negating it is worthless. I'd rather have the earplugs. And the sharpening speed more than attacks small. But then if you look down here at the requirements. Five. Azure plates. Now let me just. Let me open that in a new tab. So uh, we can really see how to acquire. Oh, there, there's actually apparently quest rewards on the. Uh, on the screen now. We, can, we have a 1% chance of getting Azure plates from uh, quest rewards. Then Monster Carve, high rank, 1% tail only. G rank, 12%. Something I didn't notice earlier, though, when I was looking at this previously, this also wants three Nova Crystals. Let's see how you get Nova Crystals. How to acquire. Trades, okay. Vespoid Abdomen, those are very rare. Quest rewards. Let's see. Got some. So six stars. This is the start of G rank. So from here is the cutoff. You can't, we can't get any of these right now. So the quartz or request one percent. Slay gypsus one percent. Crystal hunting one percent. Gypsus in the swamp one percent. Or you can have a six percent chance of carving one from gypsus. You cannot gather these, period, except from for Gypsurus quests. Or, you know, I rank here and carve. We fought quite a few of them. As well. Yeah, we fought I like. Don't have a single one. Yeah, we fought like four or five of them, and I don't have any either. So, you know, it's. <clears throat> they're asking a lot for this set when it's. Not even great. Now, comparison. Let's go and look at normal Rathalos' set. For high rank. High rank Rathalos gets attack up medium, and this is possibly health up, 
but it's it more likely to have a recovery speed up. The wiki, for whatever reason, has wrong information and shows like nothing with health up. Like it says that Rathian's armor has recovery up when it's health up, so. So this has attack up medium. Recovery speed one. And you know, minus dragon resistance, which is basically nothing. It does pretty much nothing to you. There aren't really any monsters that do dragon attacks. Other than maybe Fatalist. But then you know, this one's 28 Uninor and 5 Rathlos scales, so... At least the Uninor is obtainable. I think I'm approaching like 15 of it or something right now. Rathlos has dragon damage on its claws in Monster Hunter 1? I'm not entirely sure if I believe that. I wonder if it actually says here in the bestiary section. He barely ever hits you with his claws anyway. It's present all the way up. Uh, and including portable 2G. That's interesting, but it doesn't really matter if... Oh, the fuck, he actually does. But he, like, never hits you with his claws, so it doesn't matter. Like, that, uh, the claw swipe attacks that he has are so fucking jank and almost never, like, get close to maybe touching you. Like, 90% of the time, the one he does from the sky, like, yeah, he just, one, he just he won't move. Sky, yeah. Like, he, he'll get you to can... you sometimes, but there, there's still a high chance he'll just miss because it doesn't go all the way. And he can't go straight down either, so if you stand under him, he can't hit you. Mm hmm So it's like, even if he, like, he has that apparently, like, that's good to know, but it doesn't matter because he can't really hit you with it anyways. The only time I've been hit by that attack this entire game is when we were doing Mitsu Blue Warverns, and I literally just yeah. didn't have him on my screen. I think I've been hit by it one other time, and he came through, like, the walls of forest in Hills Area 9 to hit me with it. Which very clearly caught me by surprise. I wasn't expecting it. Good for him. By comparison, uh, I'll pull up Rathian's pink set real fast, high and low rank. Just do a nice fair comparison between Azure and pink. So, pink Rathian has... Health boost, this is this is not recovery speed. Good luck. And alchemy. Alchemy is a nice skill for fixing broken shit, or just to have it to, you know, make monster broth, because we still currently can't really get that without alchemy. Good luck gives you increased quest rewards, and health boost is still basically the best defense skill you can have in the series. Now, this wants 35 pink Rathian spikes, but again, with the offline troublesome pair, you get three 90% of the runs that you do. We can ignore the 65 match light. I have, like, two stacks of it almost, I'm pretty sure. So, going from this to high rank pink compared to high rank azure. We have Health Boost 2 now, and we still have Good Luck, and it just gives us Provoking again. So I would still say this is better than Azure's set, which does, like, nothing for you. <laughs> but then, you know, it once again wants 5 Pink Scales. Uh, this one wants 4 Nova Crystals instead of 3, and it wants 2 King Scarabs instead of 1. So it's also yeah, harder to make. It also takes away Alchemy from you. It also takes away Alchemy, but... um. You only need one set that has alchemy, and as long as you clear the alchemy list and the combination list, you'll get the alchemy book, and you can just have the alchemy book in your inventory instead. But, you know, that's like 100 combinations total before you can get that, and I've been too lazy to start going through that. And I may as well bring up Rathian's normal set, because I, I did it for Rathalos. Yeah, you do have it. Cheater. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, considering the amount of uh, tons 
of a troublesome pair I had to do just to get the silver crowns. I could have done it without. Yeah, you probably could have done it without like spawning yeah. it in. And then, you know, here's high rank Rathian. This might actually be health boost three. I'm not actually sure if health boost three is in the game. Let's take a look. There's a chance that that's just a shit ton of wasted points right there. Oh no, it is health boost three for, for uh, plus 30 HP. And then you just have Provoker, but you have tons of HP. And Provoker is present on the low rank sets for Rathlos and Rathian, so it's not much of a change. Like the only difference is I think lower rank Rathian only has like health boost one and provoker. Oh no, it's health boost two for the full set apparently. Right? Yeah, health boost two. So it's just really weird to see that. And the funny thing is it doesn't get any better in G rank. A lot of the G rank sets are completely fucked too for um both of them. <laughs> For the normals, subs, and metal rafts, they're all really weird. Gold Rathians is nice, because it has, um, like, fantastic luck or some shit. I guess I can pull the weapons up real fast. Yeah, you know, Iron Sword. We got, we got this nice Iron Sword, let's see. Iron Sword plus 336 attack with... 60 70 hits of yellow goes to iron katana gets some attack basically unusable immediately that's like 10 hits of yellow and then 10 hits of orange and then just red like that is not a usable weapon you upgrade to iron katana grace it's still hard to argue that that's a usable weapon <laughs> with only yellow but then you get to gospel it gets some yellow mm, i mean some green that's like 30 or 40 hits of green, that's pretty good. Then you get to the Eager Cleaver, this is a really nice weapon. But then you look over here and it's like, yeah, I just have shit tons of match light and earth crystals in low rank. Like, if you were trying to make this for your first weapon, you like wouldn't be getting this anytime soon. Like, it's much better to just like follow the typical tree until you get like the Lacerator or something instead. My favorite one, though, is, let's, uh, let's show these, let me show the fire dual blades, or fire sword and shields. Like, this is an amazing example of shit right here. So, here's the fire sword and shields. This is the strongest fire sword and shield you could make, right here, the Blazing Falchion, with... 238 raw and 380 fire with what looks like 70 hits of greens. That's pretty good for low rank. The G rank version gets like 32 more raw and no more fire. It keeps the green sharpness with maybe like 20 more hits. It doesn't get blue or anything. Like this is barely an improvement over the low rank version. And this is a G rank weapon. You can't this isn't a high rank weapon that upgrades to G rank. This is a G rank weapon. You cannot get Raflos Carapaces until G rank. And then the dual blades are a very similar situation. But they're significantly stronger. This is also a G rank weapon only right here. This is the silver and gold dual blades compared to the low rank normal raft dual blades. It is a significant improvement with like a hundred more for both attacks and like five times the sharpness. Not literally five times, it's more like three or four, but. But then there's examples where you don't get this kind of treatment. Like if you look at the water dual blades. The Guild Rapiers are barely an improvement over the Fish uh, Dual Blades. And, like, you get more sharpness. You get a lot of sharpness. That's that's pretty good. You even get blue. That's pretty nice. But, like, it barely gets any more raw or, um, well, 50 raw is pretty good. But it only gets 20 more element. 
And this is insanely expensive. Like, I didn't realize this when I said I wanted to make these. This takes fucking 10 light crystals and 10 Nova crystals to max out and 20 Union Ore. It's, that's really expensive. And then this final one down here is a uh, G-Rank weapon. You can't get Joiner or Grasshopper until G-Rank. And, you know, pure crystals are there too, which you also can't get until G-Rank. Yeah, it's it's uh it's a situation, all right. What a sick way to do your weapons. So you know, as much as I'm having fun with Monster Energy, freedom would probably be the more consistent experience with the rest of the series. Because G has a lot of the more modern type systems with the proper weapon trees, the farms, and all that stuff. And I'm sure more people have a PSP that they can play on than they have a PS2. Oh, my neck. You there, Sozu? I am. Okay. Looks like we are officially done we are. with the five star quests. That's G rank though, event low. Yeah, there's even no. Though we haven't unlocked the uh, troublesome pair. You're right, actually. Oh no, we we do. We we just didn't do it because um we kept the uh, and I just haven't seen it pop up again. Yeah, there it is. I have it. Uh, the thing that sucks, though, if we start farming Troublesome Pair, where there's no chance of subspecies. Game's a pretty long grind, so I don't think it's that far out. I generally had the mats to make uh, Guild Sabers by HR27. Yellow Sharpness is not a far stretch when you consider green is a 1.125. Uh, multiplier yellow being the usual 1.x so i imagine they consider green a premium which is true for monster Hunter one it's a basically a premium in the earlier ranks but you very quickly feel like the game is unplayable with yellow sharpness because you start bouncing off of everything with just having yellow and from my understanding mind's eye in this game is bugged like, if you bounce off a monster, that is a massive... Not only is it lowering your damage, which Mind's Eye doesn't prevent, you still get the lower damage, but you don't bounce, which means you can react properly. Like, plenty of times, I will go, I'll hit something, I'll bounce off that fucking monster, and then it gets a hit confirm off me because I can't move. It's really hard to say the game is playable with Yellow Sharpness, even if it's the basic 1.0 multiplier. Blue sharpness, though, that's that's the good shit. You get blue sharpness, man, you're eating good. Only the upper echelon, the 0.00001% get white sharpness. Like, I'll be or happy with know, blue. Or, you know, just wear the, the uh, black belt set. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, have no defense. Yep. And a random gunner skill because armor. Oh, so hey, Mello. What's up, Mello? Imagine the people who complain about sharpness in World and Rise playing this, they'd probably lose their minds. Can, in fact, get sharpness 1 in high rank 2? I'm aware. I'm not intending to get any of the stuff that would give it to me. Because you do need Torso Up or something like that to get it in higher rank, right? I'll actually take a look right now. By the way, Sozu, how long are you intending to go for? Like, what kind of time you got? I can go another hour. Alright, sounds good to me.
Uh, sharpness. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh man, that's... That's his favorite monster. I apparently still have to step away for a moment, so I'll be right back. I'm back again. What I miss? Nothing. Ah, sick. I guess Kello's last message. You know, classic got called to move some heavy shit again, so. Well, I wasn't told that until I, like, walked over there. It's like, alright, take this outside. I was like, I even put my fucking hoodie on, so now my skin feels bad. Sun allergy sucks. Yeah, so, so go on. Are you, are you done with your rents? Or uh, have you not rented about the weapons yet? I already talked about wanna... the weapons briefly. It's fine. Uh, did you show them? Uh, I showed a little example. I showed, like, the dual blades and some sword and shields and uh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. <clears throat> so, what should we do? Yeah, sharpness one higher rank as well. Uh, HR Cephalos. Yeah. Gross. Also, people playing World and Rise probably won't be playing this. Yeah, I find it hard to imagine any of them coming back to this game. Although, a couple of people I've randomly chatted to, and these hubs have been like, Yeah, like I started with the later games, and I really wanted to try this, so I came back to it. I was like, Oh, nice. You'll love to hear it. Man, the arena quest in Freedom Night to fight a monster with a greatsword that has no sharpness at all. The only way to not bounce was max charge. Yeah, um... They were cooking with those arena sets. Most of the arena sets in this game were fine. Other than the fact that you had to use a bowgun. At any point. But uh, most of the actual sets for this game were pretty decent. They looked ugly as sin, but... You know, it's, uh, it's just how it is. So you want to do Troublesome Pair, or are you looking to do, like, some subs or something? I'm fine with either. Troublesome Pair or uh, the other one is going to be quicker levels. The other one gives... 1,000, it gives 40 more HRP. Mm hmm Like the one in the swamp? Yeah. I don't have that one, though. I don't have either of them. Do you have both? I do have both. Oh. Uh, put up the swamp one, then. I'm going to adjust the stuff that I have. When is the next rank up? Oh, that's actually kind of far away. Yeah, I, I would imagine so. Yeah, it's like 7,000 away currently for me. That's long. Should we bother mining? I'll at least hit the Area 5 mining spot, their nest. I'm not going to go to like all the other ones, though. Oh, we're going to the swamp. Actually, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mine in the swamp. Oops. I will hit the bug spot though. Oh wait, no, swamp isn't the one that gives it. It's fucking jungle in a uh, desert. Damn. <laughs> that sucks. Am I missing? Oh, I'm missing whetstones. Is 
fix some flashes. I mean, yeah, the hammer is very easy to make. That's still just a Kutku hammer. That's the end of that tree, the main, the main branch that is. And that's only 780. Which, per I guess, for, for low rank is pretty good. Yeah, for like village, that'd be fine. And low rank into this would probably be okay for a while too i mean but at the end of village you can just make at the moment you're done with village as long as you can kill Lao, you can just make his hammer and have a much better weapon like i mean you have it right now so yep and um, by the point you uh okay did i grab one did i did by the time you make that low rank low weapon, there's no high rank weapons to make. Because every other weapon is worse. Except for uh, specific cases like uh, Kizu, that is weak to fire. Rathos is going to be in there. Yeah, lances are, like, disgustingly strong. That was interesting to look at. But unfortunately for me, I don't really like the lance's playstyle. So... But I made one earlier, like, half-assed to... Uh, fight Diablos with it, and the Diablos was so big that I couldn't really hit it, so at least not with the upward thrusts and his legs aren't the best hit zone I, mean, I wouldn't mind switching to the lance and end up using three weapons this playthrough I just don't really care for his playstyle is my problem when I can make actual usable sword and shield and um Dual blades for high rank. I'm gonna start doing that. Until then, I'm gonna stick with the great sword. And if we get a bizarro swing, I'll upgrade the lance that I already have. Cause why not? Yeah, but I wanted to hit, like, his tail. Like, I wanted to cut off his tail for the carves, and, like, I couldn't do it. <laughs> like, 90% of the time, I'd just up thrust and miss. Sure. Dropping inputs, holy fuck. I just slapped my analog stick like four times trying to draw my weapon in attack and I was like, nah, dude. Also, tripping monsters and stuff like that don't really matter if you just don't have the damage to kill it. Like, we were having issues with the double Diablos quest, because we kept getting Diablos with high health rolls, and not enough opportunities to really attack him. And they'd just stay on the ground the entire time as well? Mm-hmm. Staying underground or running back and forth on the arena with, like, no chance of hitting him caused a lot of issues. Four Horns isn't an easy quest, to be fair. It's definitely not. 
but I was getting like really sick of it. Cause, like our first attempt on it, where we were half-assing it, we got a pretty good Diablo scroll for um, one of their health. And we, if we were a bit more prepared, we probably could have finished the quest. But we didn't go in with like a lot of things. So we ended up failing the quest and we came back to try it like three or four more times or some shit. And it was taking us like 40 minutes to kill a single Diablos because of how much HP they had. So we just couldn't actually finish the quest. Yeah, you see how this Rathalos is acting? Yeah, this is basically just Diablos but in the ground. Like even with all the screamers and shit, like we just couldn't kill it. We just didn't have the damage for it. Not in a reasonable time. Like we could kill the one, but the moment it asks us to kill a second one, it's like this is very clearly just not happening. To be fair, these quests are made with like four people in mind typically. So asking two people to do enough damage for four people in a fucking Diablo hunt is asking a lot. Without like crazy CC, but we couldn't really make any good paralysis weapons anyways. I'm not really gonna tell uh, care what I get unless I get a plate. If I get a plate, it's like holy poggers. Otherwise, I don't. It doesn't really matter. I have so much wrath for those materials. Yeah, I was just saying it so that you know that I didn't get one. Yeah, I just got a shell. I don't think pair is worth it with two people, at least with what pair weapons are there. I don't, I don't know why I'm going to Area 10 and 6, but this is the way I'm going. Oh, um, it was one of those things where it's like, maybe it would be worth it just because we'd have like consistent long openings to actually be able to hit him. That weren't just like his chest, basically only when you scream or him. We were just trying like a lot of shit over the couple hunts. It's like, alright, well, maybe we need like a stronger lance, and Sozi's thinking about making a heavy bow gun, and like, we're gonna do this stuff or whatever. Thankfully, we didn't have to do any of that. A uh, guy in G rank showed up and like just helped us kill it. It's like, alright, sick. I'm sick of fucking seeing the yellow's faces, anyways. We take those. Like, no matter what game it is, I don't enjoy fighting Diablos. Rathalos, what the fuck are you doing? So getting the chance to just not deal with Diablos, with the Giant guy helping, I was like, yeah, I take that. We take these. Also, I'm not about to turn down having more people join hunts. I like fighting in higher groups. Um, Rathian is also here now. Nice. The way it was always meant to be. Rathless just cock blocked my paintball on her. It's fucked up. There we go. Or not, it apparently didn't fucking count for some reason. I 
I think Dialogus is cool. He's just a lot easier after Dose. I mean, he's a fine design monster, but I just think his fight is fucking awful. Like, there's nothing fun about it. And it's always been like that. It's basically never going to change. fucking died from a very, very dumb mistake. I keep forgetting that you can't, like, stand and turn at the same time with the guard. So I'll be holding the guard button as I'm getting up, and I'll just guard the wrong way and eat shit because of it. Please attack. Holy fucking dropped inputs, Batman. Like, pretty much the only reason I like Monoblos more is I just like Monoblos' design more. I don't find Monoblos' fight particularly enjoyable either. Because it's practically identical to Diablos, except he just has less health. And less horns to break. I'm so fucking sick of their tails. Holy hell. Time by one of the well, yeah, it's because I'm actively trying to cut it off, so, like, anything yeah. they do where they kind of maybe trip you with it, which is fucking annoying. I'm getting some great sounds out of this weapon hitting multiple things at once. Holy fuck. I What a block. I need to sharpen now, though. Oh, he's up there. There, Athlos is leaving. Not my fault. I refuse any responsibility. There we go. That's gonna hurt. Can't see anything. God, this stage is so foggy in this game. It's great. Hmm. Let my guard down too soon. Nice shell. I got a scale. I love how you still get poison from that without her having any spines. Ah, she's leaving. Yeah, back on the topic of uh, Diablos and Monoblos. They're probably the only fights in these older games, well, in this game, that I actively dislike. 
the rest I either feel, well, that's not true. I fucking hate the fish. Fuck that guy. Immediately changed my mind. Fuck all three of them. <laughs> Sandfish isn't as bad because you can at least hit him when he's doing his swimming bullshit. Diablos though? Fuck Diablos. Monoblos still sucks basically as equally but looks cooler to me. And then fish is just awful in every way. Fireball. It's not until Gen 2 with, uh, like, Yamasukami, where we get a fight that I just actively straight up hate. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait. It's, like, if you ask me about what that fight is like, I cannot fucking tell you. You could put a gun to my head and be like, tell me what the Yamasukami fight is like. How do you fight Yamasukami? I'd be like, I don't know, pull the fucking trigger. It's just we're straight up repressed. Because I hated it. Like, the only thing I remember is I hated that fight. Like, to the point that me and Zan just basically never had anything to do with it. We were fighting, like, all the monsters shit tons of times, like, basically everything, except Yamasukami. The only thing we actively avoided. Man, crazy. Fucking hit yellow sharpness, bounced, and I'm probably gonna die for it. Oh, I'm fine. That's not a fucking healing item. I actually straight up, yeah. Awesome. Did you not have healing items? I fucking clicked one too many times and went to paintballs instead. Uh... And then I threw a paintball and she landed on top of me and killed me. Yeah, crazy. Yellow sharpness, bounce, just straight up fucking dead because of it. I think Yama is cool too. I actually didn't like too much how it was abridged in Portable G2. Well, is it a better fight in Dose? If it's somehow a better fight in Dose... Maybe I'll change my mind about it. As it stands, that fight is awful. Like, I didn't like it at all. That was not fun. Like, I want to say that, like, the only thing you do in that fight is stand on top of it and hit the ground, but that doesn't sound right. I feel like that's just a made-up memory. Oh, he turned towards you, fuck. Because yep. I've only fought Yamasukami in Freedom Unite. So it's a different fight in Dose. Cool, I can't wait to see it and hopefully not be total ass.
I don't mind siege fights. Like I, I, I like Lao Shen. Like he does, he doesn't have the most exciting siege in the world, but I like him as a monster, and I don't mind his fight. Kovatarov's siege isn't bad, but it's Kovatarov and the way it works with the fucking basically gotcha for the weapons and shit makes it awful. And after you do it a couple hundred times, you're just fucking sick of seeing her. I like, um, what was it, Jin Moran or Dyer Moran? I like that. I think that one was actually really good and fun. Like, I don't dislike siege fights, but I remember Yamasukami in particular being fucking terrible. So if it's different, if it is, like, very different in Dose, then I guess I have something to look forward to. It is weird seeing a Rathlos bigger than a Rathian right next to each other. Because Rathlos is almost always smaller, so it's weird seeing a bigger one. Tiger <laughs> Moran, holy new species. Yeah, I don't fucking remember exactly what its name was. Like Jin Moran, Dyer Moran, Dyer Morales, something. It was the whale in, uh, For You. It's a Jean Moran. Okay. Yeah, the whale in For You I liked a lot. I didn't play the 3U version. Most because I didn't play 3. I played some Portable 3rd, and I never got to play 3. So 3 will also be a new experience. Once I get to that. I couldn't see Rathlos coming for me. I'm blind. I good to move I am. They're running towards you. I'm both doing the same attack. Yeah, I saw them both sprinting next to each other on the map. Let's go, how adorable. But then on the other hand, like Zora Magdaros, Zora Magdaros sucks. Like, I didn't, I didn't like, like the Zoro Zoro Magdaros. Was really like, Zoro Magdaros was not a good fight. Again, with not being able to turn around and block at the same time. Good thing Rathlos wasn't coming for me, because I was trying to block him. Well, they're more or less the same, but it's Daren Moran. Mm. Jen is in Tri. Personally, I think those two are my least favorite, actually. That's interesting, because I actively enjoyed um, the entire one on this ship. Wait, least favorite? Even less than the Rise Quakes? Oh, dude. I keep forgetting that those could, like, be considered a fucking siege fight. I also keep forgetting that those fucking wannabe, uh, that's... The wannabe Amaterasu's are a thing. Amatsu. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's full, a it's the actual name is, like, Amaterasu or some shit in Japanese. It got shortened for the English release. I mean, you say that, but I saw Amatsu in Portable 3rd first, I'm pretty sure, so I saw the translated name before seeing it as Amatsu. Yeah, it's a Amaterasu reference, which is a god in Japanese. Moran brings me no joy. Shame. What a shame. Or, or a uh, jutsu in Naruto. Yeah, but who the that fuck cares about anything with Naruto? Nobody cares about that shit. 
True, nowadays you only care about Boruto. <laughs> All the Naruto fans out there molding right now. Like none of them are here, but they're listed but they can like feel it in the ether that somebody's shit talking the show. Oh, I posted a meme in Wavery the other day. <laughs> uh about Naruto and uh, Berserk. Yeah? Yeah. I, I will send it to you <laughs> after this. Oh great, I can't wait to see it. Or you can just check Reaver and scroll. I'm not going to that cursed place. What do you mean? Well, treat, treating Weaver like it's uh, general. Like, that's where all the hyper degens live. I'm not going in there. No, the hyper degens live in politic. That's just a different kind of hyper degen. They're practically identical from my point of view. It's like, in one you have people obsessed with politics, and the other you have people obsessed with anime. They're both bad, just different kinds of bad. Where's the Apsaros? I need some meat. I only brought a single steak because I thought I would find some Apsaros to kill. Okay, oh, I did. I did carve Rathian. Oh, yeah, back. oh man, what the fuck is this gonna be? It's spoiled, so let me make sure it's not gonna show my fucking desktop when I open this. Okay. Let's spoil it, because it was to bait people. Yeah, it's very clearly, like, extreme bait. But I wouldn't be surprised if the people obsessed with Naruto actually think like that. And off he goes again. Dude, did you eat, like, the entire ecosystem out here? Like, where the fuck are these herbivores? Oh, right, in this there one, there aren't any. Yeah. Right. You forgot. You forgot. Always forgot. Uh, is he leaving again? I'm gonna chill here in Area 5 and wait then. He might just come straight here. Alright, then. Yeah, he's landing. And now nice. it suddenly doesn't work. Maybe it only works on the on the subspecies. We'll see. When he flies again, I'll try it. Like actually flying fireballs. It fucked. No. You walked right into that. Okay, so it just doesn't work if they're, like, flying into an area. I guess. I'll stop upswinging now. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't be a terrible idea. You weren't even on my screen. <laughs> yeah, you weren't on mine either.
some weird movement from him over here. Fair enough. Of course, that doesn't fucking blind him. So annoying. Like, I want to use flashes more, but they feel so fucking bad. They feel fantastic when they work. They feel awful when they don't. The extreme duality of Monster Hunter G. facing this way. That's a fucking paintball. Alright. I'm gonna stop throwing those now because you're just fucking wasting. Nicely done. Only throw for half hour? Not bad for the two of them. Mm -hmm. Even better if it was giving me like actual materials and just not a shit ton of flame sacks instead, gave me three flame sacks. Classic. I got one flame sack. We got a Rathlow swing, that's cool at least. Yeah, I don't have anything on my end that's, like, remotely appealing to do. If we had more people, Volcanic Valor with the Gravioses could be. Mm hmm But the other ones I have are, like, nah, I'm good. I mean, I would like some Gravios parts, so that would be nice, but really, really do need more people. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, um, hard to keep up that kind of bomb economy. I actually only have, like, two stacks of, uh, Barrel Bomb Pluses now. Mm -hmm. If I had Alchemy, though, I could make quite a few more. If I had Alchemy, I could make 40 more. 30 more. You combine, um, Monster Fluid with Bitter Bugs to get Monster Broth, and combine those with Large Barrels to get Barrel Bomb Pluses. <clears throat> so, it's approaching that, like, hour mark. What are you gonna do? 
I can do one more since I've already eaten. Fair or enough. I, I am eating right now. Ah. Uh. I was eating during the wrath quest. I figured that's why you like walked out of the area at a point. I'm like one AFK. Yeah, I think that was to take it out of the oven. Ah. Uh. Off stream, I'll probably do um like gathering runs for the King Scarabs and Firestone. I don't really feel like that would be great to be streaming that. So it would literally just be like, okay, I need Firestone. Or uh, I need King Scarab. Run in desert. Run to area 8. See if I get King Scarab. Don't get King Scarab? Okay, abandon quest. And repeat for as much as I could. And it'll be like that for Firestone too. I probably won't try doing the Sitstone quest anymore. Not by myself, at least it takes it takes too long to run the three stones. On top of all the mining. It'd probably be better to go run in, see if I get any firestone, than just like die three times to speed through it. Is there anything you need other than Gravios? We could actually do another Gravios if you want to end off on that. I'll grab some more bombs. Mm. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe once I figure out a uh, Vulcan set, mm. I'll want to do something else but for now yeah it would be gravios yeah i feel like with bow guns i really feel like it would probably be like mandatory not mandatory but it's like it'd probably be the best feeling skill to have which would be rapid fire oh The only armor in the entire game that has rapid fire yep. is Crimson Fatalist. So that's not happening. Uh, what about reload speed? <laughs> oh, okay, things actually have reload speed. You could try for that instead. I wonder if you can get reload speed and uh, fucking uh, recoil. I, I'm looking at the wiki right now. I may as well just pull that up on screen. Well, it's nice to know that um, Loshan's HR set comes with it. Yeah, I see the Genesis headpiece. You mean the glyph oh. chest piece. Right. I forgot that's what the female one's called. I was looking at Genesis because, like, yeah, that's still that's still Gunner Law set uh, Shen armor. That's that's it. Reload and fire resistance. Any with like actually isn't this low rank as well? No, that's the uh, high rank one. The Mai that's set. The, Ma the Mai. Mai is high rank. rank. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, but the low rank also has it. Oh. The moment I hit um, the next rank, we'll be able to do Lao Shen, I'm pretty sure. And I will want to farm him. Same. Like, we might... It might be a good idea to make a lance for both of us just for him. <laughs> yeah. Like, just stab his nice. stomach back up, stab stomach back yeah. up, stab stomach back up for a good 30 minutes. Probably gonna kill my the fucking hand doing it. Really nice. Just spinning on him? No. Definitely definitely not spinning. Hmm. I mean, the uh, three-head combo. Because hmm. they're all overheads. Right. 
and then the uh, upswing, two overheads and one upswing, so they all hit up of your head. I'm not seeing anything here that has a recoil and reload. Oh, it's literally just the Genesis 10 set that has recoil speed. That's lame. <laughs> And it has negative reload speed for the recoil speed? What the fuck is this? What? Oh, the Genesis. <laughs> minus reload speed. What the fuck? <laughs> it has negative reload speed 3. And minus 15 defense for reload speed 2. I mean, yeah, that's a lot of reload speed, but holy f... Or that's a lot of, like, recoil down. We we're gonna be sitting there for, like, a fucking year reloading. Okay. That's, um... You know, the glyph set has that, too, because it's just a, it's just the female version, so... Of course, that's gonna have it. Yeah, that, that sucks ass. <laughs> that's not great. That ain't it, Chief. I guess reload speed's what you'd want, and... Like Disco just said, you could just buy the battle cap. Or, um, yeah, like, the low-rank battle cap set. Unless one of these have actual, like, attack skills for the bow gun. Which I am not seeing. Yeah, uh, you'd probably just make, like, anything with this reload speed then. Like, I would say, like, don't make the low rank set because it's going to have no defense. But if you're a gunner, you're made of fucking paper anyways. I mean, you can just buy the uh, the battle one. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, you could just buy the low rank battle set instead of like making any of these. If that's the one skill you want, like you're gonna have no defense, but as a gunner, you're gonna be made out of paper regardless. I use low rank battle set to cluster <laughs> fatalists. Wow. Uh, classic. So which which uh, bow gun did you use? Yeah, it doesn't look like any of these We've been have. Wondering about the bow guns. Yeah, the like ones are good. So far, I've only tried bow guns in training, and they all felt fucking awful. But they were all light bow guns. So I'm thinking maybe heavy bow gun is better, but I'm not really sure like what to be looking at for that. So I wouldn't mind trying heavy bow gun, other than the fact that I'd have to make another set for it. But uh. The light bowgun experience in the training quest was really off putting. Ah, grenade launcher. Hey, bowgun's good for pure damage. I'd use it for like Gravius and such. Yeah, when we were doing some of the like more tanky monsters yesterday, the uh, G rank guy like kept swip uh, swapping between a bunch of bowguns. Wait, bow guns heavy on support. It's very good for poison status and stun. Yeah, but there's just two of us. So, typically that support's not going to be fantastic. What do these have going on? Instead of the Azure set. And by Azure, I mean Ash. Oh, interesting. That has recovery speed 1, reload speed 2, and then minus 20 defense. <laughs> what a set. You know, if it's correct. Yeah, if it's correct and it's actually recovery speed. Actually, let me click back to my desktop real quick. Let's take a quick look. All, all, get rid of re reload speed, get rid of recoil, uh, health. I'll give them props, they have updated this. Originally the chainmail set didn't show here either. And by chainmail set, I mean the chainmail chest, not the entire set. Hmm. 
They are actively working on it, though. Like, um, these didn't used to be, like, links that you could click on and all that stuff. They've fixed some of the, um, drops and, like, quests and shit. Or, like, what can or can't be carved off of monsters. Because, um, let's see, village... I think it was five star. Attack of the Rathlos. Rewards. Yeah. Like this originally didn't show wings here. And it originally said that you couldn't carve wings off of Rathlos either. Um, originally the item in here. Originally, this literally only said that you could get it from uh, Village Capture Quest. Right here. It originally only said that this quest was here and none of this other info was here. Well, this was here. Oh, I saw that it has Forest and Hills trades for Firestone. I was like, oh, dude, sick. I could get fucking Firestone like this? No, it's... You trade Firestone for the Wings, which is a massive scam. I might try trading wings for some light crystals, though. Honestly. Uh... Okay, there it is. Capture card was being weird for a moment. If you need to cluster, then get a light bow gun with cluster 2. Chronos Grenade is pretty good. I made uh, Sandfall, very good ammo types. If you can get Isles of Gods, it's even better. Isn't that the fucking Crimson Fatalist heavy bow gun? <laughs> Let me look real quick. Or is that the light bow gun? I think it's the light one. Uh, no, it's the Ancient Stone. Oh, right. Yeah, we were talking about the uh, Bowgun stuff last stream with the whole dual, um, dual Diablo shit going on. And I pointed out that this could be an interesting one, but I saw the Ancient Stone. I was like, okay, well. Not gonna happen. Light Bowgun Ancient fucking shard? Yeah, no. Steamlock's basically the same thing with lower raw, which doesn't matter too much for pure cluster. Yeah, but I still haven't gotten that either. Or there's a chance that I might have gotten it in the village and fucking sold it because I didn't realize it was the uh, rust stone weapon. You know, we've gotten a couple rust stones. Let's open these. Buster Sword Plus. Iron Lance. Rip. Ah, uh, what a shame. Here's a better question. What ammo types are good? Because doing the training quest, the only ammo types that seemed like they were remotely worth using... Or cluster and or not cluster, pellet and uh, pierce, pierce shot. Yeah, like anything but cluster, not cluster. Fuck, pellet and pierce shot seemed like it just didn't do anything. Normal, pe normal two, pierce one and two, poison two, stun two, cluster two, bread and butter ammo types. That's interesting. That did not, that did not seem like what I was getting from the quest in the training. To be fair, the training quests were just, like, bad <laughs> for bow guns. Which is why I'm curious about trying light or a heavy bow gun still, kind of. 
You know, do you have the um, Sutstone quest right now? I think so. Maybe do that before we get off. I'm not really sure. Unless you have like a specific quest you want to do, like I'm more or less tapped out with what I need. That's not just going to be like tedious grinding. Yeah, we can do that. Actually, no, no, let's go kill a Gypsyrus. Oh, okay. Let's go see if we can get some Nova Crystals and shit. God forbid we actually get something. That's um... Right there. I have the Fire Dual Blades, and he's not... Like, he has a decent weakness to Fire and water but I don't know if these are super worth using against him instead of just my massive raw greatsword I mean his uh, fire weakness is pretty high yeah I'm about to pull up his uh, defenses and shit stomach 30 tail 30 wing 30 neck 30 it's his feet that are that is long Uh, what's the fire on these? Pretty good. It looks like my best shot would probably be attacking the stomach. Because the stomach has a um, 80 hit zone for blade and 30 for fire. Or the tail, if it's a short one. Like 90 on the tail and 30 for fire is pretty fucking good. For me, unless I'm hitting the head, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'll just pray that I can hit his fucking leg then, or tail. You can just have his head. It'd be really, really nice if his head breaks. I think Dual Blitz will have a terrible time hitting Gypsyrus's good hit uh, zones. It really depends on his size. In low rank, it was mostly fine. But now that we can have Silver Crowns in here, it might be much worse. I don't think I've actually fought him yet with Dual Blades in high rank. Unless it was like the first thing we did. Uh, I don't have a Gypsy's Quest. <laughs> nice. I don't think I had it either. It's in four stars. Oh, here it is. Perfect. I don't have any fucking bug nets. I thought we were going to swamp. Damn it. Life sucks. I'll never get my King Scarabs at this rate. Unfortunate. Actually, I'm gonna check too for uh, herbivores. Fair enough. Singer of Dual Woods and say, oh, I don't need stamina. It's fine. Just heal pray. There's both Fango here. Oh, this fucking camera, dude.
I'm sure this is fine. Last but thing, gave you some meat. No, oh, he's poisoned. just poisoned. Fuck you too, Gypsurus. Wow, that could actually yeah. be a problem. I was hitting his legs when I was trying to hit his feet. This fucking Bolfango! Where did you even fucking come from? Holy okay, shit. Well. Yeah, because I just stabbed him. He's on the other side. I'm carving him now. Okay, yeah, his legs are not great. The one and only time Azure Rathlos' hiring skill would come in handy. Fighting Gypsurus. And it's really not that hard to just spin the circle stick and press X and circle at the same time. Or spin the left stick. I somehow didn't get flashed. Okay. Demon Mother B, maybe? I guess. I'll try that again when I very clearly see him going for it. I almost got poisoned. That would have sucked. Yeah, I can't wait to get dual blades with more sharpness than fucking 30 or 20 hits. Come back, stop running, what the hell? Well, area two. Or one, wow. Okay, just make a liar out of me. What you doing over there? Cooking. Ah. And eating. What a whiff on my part, holy hell. Bottom? No. Well, the philosopher might be. Well, they won't let me near him. You're playing keep away hard for this Gypsurus. Annoying. Annoying little fox. Right, I should be going for his tail when he's down. Gotta keep that in mind, it's a weird one for Gypsurus. Let's see if I can clear out these fucking Velociprey a bit. If they actually let me fucking hit them. And the Velociprey will come up. Demon Moda actually ignores his flash. Holy. Holy busted.
Didn't that time, though. Hmm. Oh, now it's not. I rolled it. Nice. And the Sola for Sigmat. What a dick. His head's broken. He can't flash anymore. Nice. He goes. Fuck you, Velocipray. I cut him in head in half the thrusting attack. Awesome. Nice. I hit him and one hit made him fly away, and the other hit sliced him in half. You'll love to see it. I wish they kept that in these games, cutting the uh, small monsters in half. Although at Super this time. I mean, you don't even really, like, see anything. They just, like, fade into pieces. They basically get, like, Thanos I as mean, they fly yeah, through the your air. Weapon, but your weapon is all red of, with blood. Doesn't even like do especially, that. Especially the great sword. It's just, like, a red hit effect behind it. You could barely, like, pass it off as blood. I mean, what, what else would it be? <laughs> a cool hit effect. Duh. Forehead. Uh -huh. It's just there to, you know, confirm that you got a hit. It's like fire effects on the dual blades. It's just there to confirm that you do and have, in fact, have fire. It's that easy. God, you... F mm. Fucking poison me, what a prick. Oh, rip my first aid bed. jealous, but I really want the Nova Crystals. Or even Light Crystals, just give me either. More Rubbery Hide. Ah. Yeah, I got a Rubbery Hide as well, and a Poison Sack. I got three Rubbery Hides from them. I don't know if there's any point here where you do the like weird I'm totally gonna jump uh, in the water thing. I think you might have to have like a fishing spot. I mean there's a fishing spot right here. I, it wasn't doing it. Right here. Mm -hmm. It's just the very particular spot in seven. <laughs> yeah. The hunter yearns for the swimming mechanics. I can't believe they teased it all the way back then in Monster Hunter 1 that they were gonna have swimming and try. I got excited, I saw a fucking R in here and it gave me match light. Yeah, same. Actually bait. Match light and the uh, rubbery hide.
That's a shit way to end it, not getting the item that we came there for. Damn. Oh, well. Yeah, next time. It'll be for next time. We'll get it, surely. It's also just gypsurous. Like, I could kill him on my own offline, but... By offline, I mean offstream. But it would have just been nice to at least get one... It's crazy how fucking rare they're going to be, too. Alright, so you're good for calling it here? Yep. Alright, man. Let's see, which one was it? It was the third one on the top. Oh, okay, fuck you too, then. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, right. man. It was fun, like always. It was. Fun three days. Yeah. Um, so. We're halfway towards G. We're really More close. The moment, the moment we finish um, these five stars, we do the urgent and get to the next rank, we're gonna be good to go. Because six stars should be G rank. So, uh, next or this upcoming weekend, how's it looking? Uh, it's looking like the normal one. Uh, I was just wondering because sometimes you're like, oh, I can't actually do like whatever There's other stuff going on. It's like I'm technically available Friday, Saturday, and early Sunday. Early Sunday, yeah. Alright, well, cross that bridge when we get there. It was fun, though, man. It was.